Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about the AWS Certified Security Specialty Certification. Once you're at the stage where you want to specialize in security, you got to have a lot of experience, right? You got to have enough experience in AWS where you're confident that you can build secure solutions. And this is not a simple um, one step process, right? So technically what we have is uh, this certification will validate, you know, having the ability to understand data protection, to understand uh, the ability to encrypt encryption, uh, implement encryption, to secure protocols on the internet, to secure um, any kind of services uh, to run security in production, right? So we're looking at, they're saying two or more years production deployment using security services. Yeah, if security is your main feature in AWS, then two or more years experience is something to definitely look at. Trade-off decisions regarding cost security and deployment complexity. The minimum amount of data that we got exposed because eventually that will happen. Eventually your business will get hacked. Eventually your data will get exposed somehow. Fault of the third party. And when you are on a remote platform, when you are in the cloud, you need to consider that your actions will have consequences, of course. So basically... It's all about understanding security risks. It's understanding how to mitigate those risks and how to use AWS services to reduce the amount of risks. Recommended knowledge, two years experience, hands-on with AWS, security controls for AWS workloads, and at least five years of IT security experience is definitely a requirement here. And of course, to prepare for the exam, you've got the ability to look at the exam guide. So let's look at the exam guide itself. What does it say? Well, it shows us the same exact things, right? Same exact required knowledge, etc. Multiple choice, multiple response, you know, your ability to implement secure solutions. So lots of questions here will be use case based. Your customer is using this and requires that. Your passing score. So you should be like 85-90% uh, confident, you know, have any demo exams that you took, make sure you pass them with like 85-90% uh, before you go here. And of course, your five domains are incident response, logging and monitoring, um, infrastructure security, identity and access management, and of course, data protection. So uh, incident response, looking at how to um, respond to incidents like for example an admin leaves your company they have root credentials with them what do you do right first we need to change the root credentials invalidate any keys access key secret keys for the root user reissue them if they're needed however you shouldn't be using them anyway best practice uh, and of course if they were creating other users they might have other users usernames and passwords so secret keys and access keys, rotate those credentials, right? Always consider that you need to rotate those credentials as well. Verify incident response plans. So incident response plans is something you need to work on. Well, something you probably have worked on if you're in security. So they'll give you, um, they'll give you like an example of an incident response plan that's flawed and you'll have to figure out what the problem is. Evaluate uh, configurations of automated alerting um execute remediation right so basically this is all about how to figure out when automated remediation is not set up correctly and i'll give you examples and you'll have to fix them logging and monitoring this is all about using cloudwatch cloudtrail and um, ensuring that cloudwatch and cloudtrail give you the right information about your environment also aws config is important here because you'll capture the configuration state and the configuration state can tell you a lot about your environment as well uh, then of course troubleshooting um, setting up the logging correctly for example you've set up a, a custom trail but it's not logging right what's the problem it's the uh, policy uh, not the policy the uh, access control list on the uh, on the bucket that's not that doesn't have the logging group in it number three infrastructure security so um, edge security this is going to be all about um, 
a web application firewall all about shield and shield advanced you need to know both shield and shield advanced and what the differences of shield advanced are uh, using cloudfront as a security tool um, using uh, origin access identities for protecting your content for for example for your s3 buckets you use an origin access identity to protect the bucket so that um, cache busting attacks are not allowed um, also things like uh, just implementing these network tools, like implementing rules on the web application firewall, right? What kind of rules are available? Go through the web application firewall, look at all the possible rules that you have. Uh, troubleshooting your uh, network infrastructure. So uh, using VPC flow logs inside of your VPC, understanding ELB logs from elastic load balancers, and then understanding how security groups and network access control lists work understanding that the operating system firewall on an EC2 instance also is sitting in the path of the uh, problem. Technically, there's also a route issue, right? It could be a route issue, not a security group or network access control issue. And then uh, host-based security. So this is all about the operating system firewalls, all about knowing when to implement the operating system fi uh, firewalls, knowing when to implement things like IPS, IDS, uh, next generation firewalls, packet scanners, packet sniffers, knowing that, um, you know, uh, there is no real ability to do, well, there is a monitor port now available in VPC, but I don't expect that you'll get that in the exam itself. Uh, however, you know, there's no real way to sniff the packets very efficiently in the platform itself. And then number four, Identity and access management. It's all about user groups and roles. It's all about writing policies, understanding what a policy does. They'll give you lots of policy examples, so make sure you know the policy JSON well. Um, make sure you choose the role whenever there's a role <laughs> uh, there, right? Understanding uh, also federation with uh, web directories and with external, uh, with other external directories like SML20 with uh, your active directory or others. A single sign-on might be a question here as well. Uh, there might be some questions on single sign-on. And of course, uh, troubleshooting, right? A user can't log in, but you know they have the right password, something like that. And then data protection, um, how to protect data. Uh, encryption, you got to be proficient with KMS, how KMS works, uh, S3 standard encryption, so uh, SSC S3, uh, SSEC, a uh, customer provided encryption, uh, encryption in transit with the uh, certificate manager. So definitely look at the certificate manager and which services are free. So always remember load balancer, um, CloudFront, API gateway. Those can get a free certificate, free SSL certificate, well, TLS certificate for your um, HTTPS connections to your application. And of course, the design of encryption, when to use encryption and when to not use encryption and what, what it means to use encryption. Right? Are there drawbacks to using encryption when it's not required? Some of those are, are definitely considerations that you need to give. So yeah, um, let's look at the AWS services. Um, so AWS services, uh, there we go. What services do you need to understand uh, for security specialty? Um, definitely uh, here there is nothing from analytics. Uh, and there's nothing from apps really to know. Perhaps step functions and how step functions can be used as a security mitigation tool for uh, Lambda functions themselves. Uh, definitely Cost Explorer will be a good option. Um, not really anything from these here. Developer tools, uh, not really. Um, where are we? Developer tools, database. Basics of database security, understanding that uh, you need to secure both the IAM and the database service as well as the database accounts. Uh, secrets manager for databases like RDS and Redshift. That's definitely um, crucial. Nothing here for containers and compute, a VPC security. How to, how to secure uh, and how to uh, troubleshoot security in the VPC on an ENI in the subnet. What network access control is do and what security groups do. Uh, nothing at end user, nothing really on mobile, game tech, IoT, ML, nothing really here, quantum, um, network content delivery, the VPC, full understanding of the VPC is required, definitely. Uh, Route 53, not as much, but it can be used uh, with the web application firewall to secure your platforms, to give you a log 
of all the known clients, all the known clients that have requested your website through Route 53. Um, Cloud Map, Transit Gateway, not really. Direct Connect, Private Link. Um, Transit Gateway may be in a sense where it can be used for VPC connection via VPN. CloudFront, yes, definitely. CloudFront is crucial because you have to understand that it, it, it can be a security feature. It can give you multiple access points to your application and thus you know, limit the attack to a certain region or less than a region. Uh, any of these tools, no. Media services, no. Management and governance. CloudWatch, definitely. CloudFormation for security, how to build a security template, how to unify security across CloudFormation, how to use stack sets, also crucial. Um, then what do we have here? Trusted advisor, useful for security. Um, CloudTrail, of course, crucial for security, for auditing your account, for auditing all API calls to AWS. Uh, um, yeah, none of those then matter. Robotics, no. Satellite, no. Then these, all of these, basically. F very, very hard focus on IAM. Guard duty, you know, you have to know that it scans your um, Route 53 logs, your ELB logs, your VPC logs, and it can tell you information about uh, threat detection. Um, also, it will look for very un uh, unusual patterns in CloudTrail. So no, CloudTrail, CloudTrail logs, Route 53, and um, VPC flow logs. Yeah, that's what it looks at. Artifact. Uh, just basics that it's a it's a service where you can run compliance and sign contracts with AWS and look at all the compliance resources. Directory service, uh, yeah, you should know that differences between the directory service components. Resource access, not really. Shield, yes, of course, understand Shield Advanced and Standard. Cognito, good to know for signing into applications, mobile and web. Inspector, yes, for patch scanning, certificate manager, yes, firewall manager, yes, for web application firewalls, and WAF, of course, as well. Uh, secrets manager, yes, single sign-on, yeah, might be there. Detective, um, yeah, take a look at it, have a basic understanding, as well as Macy, uh, you know, those are good. HSM, basic understanding that there is a hardware security module for encryption, and the KMS service, yes, in detail. Security Hub just noted there is a security hub where you can aggregate all of these services. And that's pretty much what you need to know to prepare for this exam. Uh, it is the Certified Security Specialty. I'm going to say good luck with the exam itself. If you need any help studying, reach out to me on LinkedIn. You know where I'm at. And of course, thank you for supporting my channel. If you consider this content useful, then please maybe consider subscribing as well. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.